Okay, so let's just break it down. Hopefully you can see me. I can use a good view, good photo. But boy, oh boy, what a doozy. I, I just, what, what a day. Um, yesterday, I mean, it was crazy, right? Um, you know, I'm sitting there. Let, let's, let's do this right. So yesterday, uh, all the be straight. It's five o'clock in the morning right now. And I've had what uh, my word of the whole 24 hours has been doozy. So I'm not sure how that's going to, you know, sit about. It made me laugh. The word made me laugh. What a doozy, you know. But uh, the whole day yesterday, I had plans of doing all of these things I had to get done. And it's just these things that I wanted to um, accomplish. It was Friday and it was just like every, now these weren't bad things that started happening to me. It was just the fact that, um, a lot of people, you know, in, in, in the Spanish gimmick here that I'm staying at, they, um, just kept flocking, right? Kept hanging. Every time I'd be almost set up, ready to do something, someone would come in and I just, you know, I'm wanting to be as compassionate as I can and, you know, I'm preaching about it as much as I can to to anybody um, as well as myself nonstop. And I'm just thinking like, okay, so these people come and I'm talking with them and hearing their stories and really genuinely, you know, interested in going back and forth and, and building friendships, building friendships. Um, you know, uh, the old, old people, young, or people that are um, older than me, you know, I'm definitely the youngest, but it, it's like just trying to find, you know, commonality between the, the people. And, um, and I always find that, you know, in communication, that's always the best thing to do. So uh, it was just like, okay, and then three o'clock hits, and then another person rolled over, and then four o'clock hits, and I'm like, okay, five o'clock, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start being rude, I'm gonna start, I gotta get some stuff done. And then five o'clock hits, and, and I'm just, I, I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta take a break, I'm so hungry. And then of course, you know, I go get a pizza and that's just like the worst thing on my stomach right now. It's like, it's so bad. And then I go and do it, I go get a pizza and, um, and I just feel like everybody's been um, using, like it's, it, if I could go into details about everything, it just feels crazy. People just have really felt like taking my kindness for, uh, for weakness. And, and I've had to check myself because I, um, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm contemplating on where that line is, that, that line of saying no, but not coming across as, a, um, as just a selfish person, because all those people individually, they don't know what I've gone through that entire day. So individually, they would see me just being a dick and just being an asshole. So um, it was, it, you know, I just was dealing with that all day yesterday and, um, and I called my mom and I asked her the questions about, you know, what she dealt with when she was a pastor's wife, being a church, things like that. And uh, we got some really good feedback. It was really great, great conversation with my mom. And I thought, okay, well, you know what? I told her, I was like, you know what? Yeah, usually around like 9.30, 10, you know, these guys, <laughs> the late, late ones, they stay up till 9.45. But, um, and usually then at night I can get stuff done. And um, it was just, you know, Everybody in the you know these are good people. These are great. These are great individuals. Every single one of them, um, the staff too, and I just you know they just want, wanted to hang around, just hang around. And it was almost like, it was almost like they, you know, why why are you like and I mean I know I'm a fun person to hang around, but like why are you, you know, oh just like and then. But then I have to. I was trying to remember myself, but I just wish there was a time where I could just, you know. And it's funny thinking about it. I'm in a almost basically prison sentence in this place as I'm rehabbing from um, being brought back to life and in fabulously excited and and um, you know. But and then I can't get out. I mean, right, right, right there. There's the, you know, the exits are behind me. And I can't get out, I'm not allowed to get out, let alone, I don't even know what, um, what's going on. And I just have so, you know, I don't know, it's just crazy. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Sometimes when we, 
um, we're trying to do the right thing. We're trying to always, you know, really push them to do the right thing. And even when we're grappling with the right or wrong in as the situation's happening in real time, and we know what the right answer is, but when does it become okay to, and not okay to do wrong, but okay to just say, hey, I need a break. And I, you don't want to offend anybody, and but whoever it is that it happens to be to roll the dice that comes into contact with you at that moment, they're gonna be have some bitter choice with about you, right? And and that's interesting, and and that's tough. It's tough, um, you know, um, you know whether you're in uh, your public figure or you're just an influenced influential person in your circle. Um, you know, we never know what's going on in everybody's life at all points and every, you know, in all footsteps of what they've been going through during the day or a month or whatever long period. And so um, I'm always trying to feel like, okay, let's give everybody a benefit of doubt, you know, everything like that. But boy, oh boy, I, I just was just crazy last night. And then so come midnight, I'm thinking, all right, midnight, I can do this. Dylan. I can go do some stuff. So I started writing out some script stuff and putting a couple of characters together because I wanted to go have some fun and just be creative and let some let some funnies out. And I'm like writing some gimmicks that I'm just making myself laugh and thinking, oh yeah, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be wild. I'm stoked on it, I can't wait. And then, um, so I put like little things together, you know, like a little, you know, put these together, some ties and stuff like that. And, and you know, um, I just like get it all together and I come out and it's like, you know, then the phone dies or the battery dies or like I got to tie things together. I got to put, it's, it was just, I should have known. I should have just been, you know, uh, and then I did probably about two hours worth of recording. Just so, I recorded as much as I just thought, you know what, I'm going to push through. I'm a determined guy. It just wasn't one of those times where you should be determined. It wasn't, it wasn't one of those times where you just suck it up and you just go hard because you were a competitor. And that wasn't probably the right time. Because all I did was when I rewatched the material that I just, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't organic. It wasn't funny. I mean, yeah, I know it was my jokes. I know it was, it was like the silly stuff that I'm, that I do. But it wasn't, it wasn't funny. It wasn't. It was. I was just reaching into the the grab bag of, of characters and, and doing stuff that's already been done, and um, yeah. So. You know, I guess what I'm trying to get at a little bit, I think, is, um, you know, when you're, you know, you're doing the right thing, you you just you're powering through. You're 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 still gonna have some hiccups, right? And you're still gonna be human. You you, you know, you're still gonna um, have mistakes and maybe even say something to somebody um, that you shouldn't. And uh, at that moment, you know, my dad taught me, you know, as a younger kid to um, and it's an old proverb that's uh, never let the wrath go down on your on the, never let the sun go down on your wrath you know if you you have some beef with somebody especially your wife or your wife with your with your uh, with your husband or your kids or, or you just someone special in your life you know that you especially but you know and others as well but um, deal with it deal with it uh, handle it uh, and you know, even if you gotta say sorry, sorry is okay. It's all right. Um, don't be Canadian sorry about everything because Canadian sorry is like, oh sorry, <laughs> oh sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. I live in Surrey, but I'm from Surrey. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm from Surrey. I'm um, sorry, it's a city up there. Uh, you know, the thing is, is just to be real, be honest, be like, I'm super sorry. Don't say super sorry. Don't don't actually say that. Don't actually don't don't say I'm I'm sorry. Explain yourself. But don't explain yourself where you're trying to be. Um, you're trying to uh, use your explanation as a, I'm sorry, but not really sorry because of this explanation. Yeah, so don't do that. But just just looking for the greater of what this is. And it's not even being, um, you know, let's just agree to disagree because that's a capo. That, that to me, that just says that, hey, you couldn't really have enough um, energy in your brain to get, compete with me, so I win. So, I would say this, um, when you need a break and you need to just breathe, go and breathe. Go and do it. 
there's nothing wrong with just taking time for you, taking time for, for, you know, the Stephen Vaughn in Stephen Vaughn, the bank blank in, in you, because if you're not fresh and you're not, you know, if you're all constipated and you're just bloated and you're just a big old poop storm waiting to happen, okay, uh, I understand that, but you do not, you are not going to be rubbing the right energy to others and that what you've built up about being the person that you've built so hard to be, you're, you don't want to lose it, um, unfortunately, by farting the wrong way, you know what I mean, or, or having the wrong day to have constipation. You know, so there's yesterday there's nothing I could say that was funny, or even right now I'm trying to just be just be real, but none of the material and nothing I could have done. And you know what? You gotta be okay with understanding it's okay to be okay, and you're just gonna shine today. For instance, the sun's coming up, right? It's my favorite time of the year or other mornings is when the sun comes up right up over these houses. Man, my, my language is all over. I, I was just saying, man, when the sun comes up over these houses, baby, you know, this city right behind me, this, this is this right here, this is exciting for me, see? I always love this part. The sun's coming up. I, see, I have the quietness of the morning, and it's just, it's just me in here, and I pray, prepare, and I'm gonna get this party, and by party, I mean this battle, and I mean by battle, is game. And I mean by game, my life. So, that's what it is every single day. You know, sometimes it feels like it's a battle, sometimes it feels like it's a game, and you gotta win, and you're a competitor like me, and sometimes you you just, you're, you're constantly, da 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 and and that's all right but it gets tiring but you've got to remember that this all and 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 man it's funny saying this because i've got sound like my dad a little bit sometimes but this is all um for something bigger right and this is a wheelchair this is for something bigger and i I, I'm just broken by how hard mentally it is. Is you know I've got a broken femur, a super crushed up uh, arm that was pieced, literally pieced together. The surgeon, the trauma surgeon who did all the trauma sur surgery on it, literally did not think I'd ever have any moving ability or dexterity or be able to touch in this finger, in this hand, let alone it's it's already at where it's at. Fractured, double fractured jaw, concussion. Oh, we knew it was a little like that. And, and yet I'm here a month and a bit later, almost two months. And every single day I'm finding ways to, to be better for me so that when I get out of that exit gate, I can be better for you and for everybody that I come in contact with. And I'm being, you know, I, I love my family. We've been super tight and super close. This has even brought us closer. It's just crazy. It's just, it's just awesome. And, you know, I, I always, you know, I'll end it like this. How can I be better leaving when I hit those exit gates? When I leave, can I be better than I came in? At the moment before that, this situation happened, am I going to be better when I get out? And that's what I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to do, because I'm extra positive, extra, you know, loving people, um, doing the right thing, but it, still, this, this goes on. And I don't know why things go on in your life, I don't know why things go on at all sometimes, but jeez, man, that Pentagon brain system is not working with, with my, my little celly that I got from a, the, the free Obama phone. You know, they're just on different boss lengths. So I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna try to understand God. I'm just gonna understand that God is my God. And that there's a plan and that um, it's not cheesy at all to have faith. And it, it just, it, 
it blows me away that he gave me an opportunity. I'm not afraid and ashamed to say that. That I, I, I've I've always been a Christian, love my friends, and people know that. And I love God, and I've I've done I've, I just seen some amazing things that He's done in my life. And but He, this is there's a reason for this wheelchair, and there's a reason that I'm fighting to get out of it. There's a reason that I'm fighting to have my dexterity and run and be able to one day really just, you know, share share this positiveness with somebody else. And if, if it, paying it forward is, is by doing this way, great, with the little funnies, um, with the FEMA Beamers, the trailer park train tracks, uh, the double mint refreshment, uh, double fracture gums, and, um, and me and you. And I'll see you later. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Check this out. Saturday, baby.